Hey, what's up guys? I hope you had a very happy new year. Today's recipe is gonna be a nice, fresh, and crisp way to kick off 2015. So today I'm gonna to show you my take on Waldorf salad. All right, so first up, we're going to make some stovetop candied walnuts. So get a small nonstick pan on medium heat, add the walnuts, brown sugar, honey, and a good pinch of salt. Then you're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes while stirring as it cooks. Once they're properly glazed and slightly darkened, you're gonna dump them out onto a container lined with some parchment paper or some wax paper and allow to cool until you're ready to use. Next, you're gonna slice up a few gala apples into eighth inch slices approximately, then cut the slices lengthwise to make batonets, or these little match-like stick pieces. They're a nice little garnishing touch. Uh, but make sure to toss the cut apples in a little bit of lemon juice and olive oil to prevent them from turning brown. Um, it also adds a nice little refreshing citrus flavor to the apple, but once you're done doing that, set them aside until you are ready to use. All right, so after you're done with the apple, you're gonna grab some endive, cut the brown portion of the stem off, uh, then you're going to quarter it lengthwise, season the endive wedges with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and fresh cracked black pepper. And then you're going to grill the endive on a very hot griddle for about two to three minutes on each side. Once that's done and you have some really beautiful grill marks on the endive, you're going to remove them from the grill and gather everything to plate the salad. All right, so here I'm going to dress a little bit of frise and radicchio with some lemon juice, uh, some olive oil, a little bit of kosher salt, and some fresh cracked black pepper. And uh, I'm gonna use this mix as the base for this salad, basically. It's gonna be uh, the bedding, and it's also gonna add a nice little texture uh, with the beautiful frise and the color of the radicchio. Next, I'm just gonna lay down a few pieces of that grilled warm endive. And this is gonna act as really sort of the meat and the, uh, the heartiness of this salad. After that, I'm gonna garnish it with a few pieces of the candied walnuts, uh, then a few of those batonets of uh, the gala apple. And then here I'm going to dollop uh, some yogurt that I just put in a squeeze bottle. It's a nice little uh, garnishing touch to a beautiful salad. And then uh, finally some blue cheese. And then of course I love my little mini herbs. So I'm gonna garnish it with just a little bit of parsley. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my take on a Waldorf salad. And this is definitely one of those uh, fun recipes to kick off 2015 with a nice little refreshing crisp twist. All right guys, this looks amazing. I'm super excited to dig in and tell you guys how I did. But before I do that, I just wanna wish you guys a really happy new year. Uh, this has been kind of a crazy 2014 for me with Oliver moving into this place and everything in between with my channel and all of you guys. So I'm very thankful that you guys uh, just supported me along the way. And uh, you know, all of you foodies out there, I really appreciate just the support for the culinary community on YouTube. I love it, I'm a super big foodie. so. I appreciate all the support that you guys have given my channel. Yeah, I just really, I really enjoy being in the company of foodies and people who just really love food as much as I do. So thanks for supporting me in 2014 and hopefully 2015 is just gonna bring a whole new load of recipes, lots of cool stuff and uh, maybe some more travel adventures. So stay tuned, but let me taste this and I'll tell you guys how I did with this very interesting Waldorf salad. Oh, this looks good. I really like fork and knife salads. Uh, just because they're a little bit more hearty and uh, they usually tend to have sort of like chunkier vegetables or a chunkier cut of lettuce. So it's just really good. Mm. I love that the endive is grilled. Really nice little char flavor. Mm. The apples are great. Add a nice sweetness to it along with the, uh, the candied walnuts. So good a ton going on with this salad. <clears throat> Grilled endive, you have the radicchio, the li nice little batonne, are these little uh, almost like matchstick apples. The little lemon vinaigrette with the lemon and the olive oil. Um, the frise has a really beautiful little fluffy texture, has a nice crunch to it as well. The candied walnuts are amazing. I could just eat those by the handful, which I usually do. 
And what else? Uh, am I missing something? Oh, the yogurt. Oh, just a little bit of yogurt goes such a long way with this recipe. Most Waldorf salads have like mayonnaise or a yogurt-based uh, dressing. And I thought it was just nice to have some plain yogurt dolloped in a, a nice little fancy fashion on this dish. It added a little bit of texture to it, gave this nice little pillowy effect. Really great, and of course the blue cheese is fantastic. Funny enough, I'm not a huge blue cheese lover, uh, but with this salad in particular and with uh, certain dishes that require that sort of uh, salinity or that saltiness with it. It adds a nice little punch of tanginess to it. Just melds this whole salad together. This is a great example of the beauty of deconstructing sort of the, an idea of a recipe. You can have fun with it, play with it, reinvent dishes. So I really enjoy doing that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a great way to kick off 2015. It's kind of like a decadent old school classic fancy salad so it's definitely a party pleaser well hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe if you did please thumbs up subscribe and comment below for future video requests things you want to see on my channel and of course i'll see you guys next time with another delicious recipe bye everybody